Good morning, Dev Tips. What's up? Uh, Travis here at the train station waiting for the day to start. I got an email just like two seconds ago from one of you guys who asked, uh, Hey, dude, what is YAML? You keep doing Jekyll and like there's head matter in the top, and we have like a config.yaml, but like, what is YAML? And you know, pointing out that I haven't even explained that yet. That's true, that's valid. I think the reason I haven't explained it yet, because I don't really even know, man. And I did a quick uh, like a Google search. <laughs> Literally, what is YML? And uh, I learned it is pronounced YAML, kind of like camel. And it's a data serialization format, it's supposed to be human readable. So the idea is to convey information to computers. If you want to say like uh, header colon header.jpg that tells the computer that your header, whatever that header is, should be header.jpg. And it seems kind of sim simple, but at the same time it's pretty like vague. And I think that's kind of the point. YAML can get a little bit more verbose than what we've been using it as, you know, uh, like, you know, doing lists and kind of grids at, uh, like like matrix matrices and things like that. But again, it, it's all just like getting the data into a human readable format. So like when I show you guys on DevTips, you can understand that like this header is the header.jpg that's really easy to understand and the computer can also really understand that. So I think that's the, kind of the main idea behind YAML. It's just a format that humans and computers can all gather around. It's probably a really poor description. I'm sure that somebody else in uh, that watches DevTips understands better than I do what YAML is. So. Uh, if you want to know more about YAML, read the conversation in the thing. Probably there's going to be some comments that are better than what I've explained here, and, and that's totally fine with me. I'm learning just as much as you guys are. So uh, I guess this has been another uh, comment o rama It's been a while since we've seen one of those. And uh, thanks for the question, and we'll talk to you guys soon. Keep on hacking.